That seems to be the problem, James. Dad, someone at school said we were going to be at peace with Earth. Is that true? Yeah, James. It looks like we're finally going to be at peace with Earth. I don't know anything about the war. Or how long has it even been going on? Well, James, I can't tell you for sure how long we've been fighting the curators, but I do know that we've been battling Earth for at least four generations now. What even started the war? Well, okay, James, I'll tell you the story. The discovery of Apple here on Mars is what created the great economic boom, an injectable power source that fuels all of our energy needs across the planet. For years, Earth and Mars were at peace. Trading season during the proximity month, when the planets were close enough, offered great trade and resources for all. But the curators of Earth wanted it all. They wanted all the money, all the apple. It's difficult to tell how, but the cures attacked Mars with a large invasion force. Our defenses were brutal. They ruthlessly bombed our cities, killing millions of civilians before we could mount a defense. King Winterfield of Mars prepared a royal fleet to defend the homeworld. But when we were ready, we unleashed the full fury of our armada. Ridding our world of the threat, we waited. But the curators never came. As the planets moved further apart, neither side could afford to continue. Each side waited and built an armada to attack during the proximity months when the planets were close enough together to be able to travel to them. And so, the Orbital Wars began. The war was at a stalemate until the Curators unleashed their next threat. A powerful group of super soldiers who were nearly unbeatable. The Coveys. Have you ever seen a Covey?
I was the pilot of a transport that went down. We were transporting something powerful back to the Grand City base for the lab coats to study. I had no idea what it was. When I returned home, I was hailed a hero for being the first person to kill a Covey. I was just lucky. too long. General Joseph Dale, what brings you here? I'm here to get your lazy ass back to work. According to your peace treaty, the war is over. The war may be over, but we still need heroes. I don't know, Joe. What if they break off the treaty and attack next proximity? I sat through all the peace talks. I was with King Winterfield. Absolutely, this is a done deal that's going through. I know you're not ready to come back right now, but when you are, you know where the offices are. And what if the curators do come back? What then? 
Well, you know who's coming back? Max Connors. I'll give you some time to think about that. The last time I was on Mars, I nearly burned it to the ground. Day after day, my Kobe brothers and I savored the possibility that we would one day come back to finish what we started. The Martians were so pleased when our leaders promised peace. If only they knew this trap was all part of the plan. I know there are a few people I would love to take revenge on personally, but it doesn't matter. They'll all be dead in the weekend.